Hey y'all, I'm staying nice and warm in the bedroom tonight. It dropped down to negative one last night and our lights kept flickering on and off, flickering on and off. And I didn't know if it was just in my house, but when I looked outside, the neighbors was flickering out too. So the whole neighborhood was just flickering out. But the power didn't go out though and just stay out. It just kept going out and come back on. So I watched the news. They said they were planning on doing a um, a blackout for us. I'm glad they didn't because negative one, you imagine how many people would die. So it was, they were saying there's too much strain on the power grid. So to keep it from overloading, that's what they were doing. So it was going in and out, in and out, like every five minutes. So one year when I moved into my house, I had put all my big blankets out in my stores because my linen closet was not big enough. And I was like, I didn't want the clutter in the house. And I like a few years back, my our lights had went out for like 10 hours and all my co big covers were in my storage. And I was like, never again. So ever since then, I made sure all my linens were washed up and clean and ready for an emergency. And so I had bought this in Af Afghanistan and it worked great. It's, it's a heavy one. I have a throw on here and then I have like a sleeping bag under there. And right now it's 73 degrees in my bedroom. So initially when the temperature started dropping yesterday, I just had my black throw on the bed. And the thermostat went down to, I had it always set up to 74. And the news people, they suggested we go down to 68. And I was like, I'm not gonna go down to 68. But then the temperature dropped so low, it just got cold in the house. So my thermostat dropped down to 60 something. And then, so I had to drop it down because they the, the guy told me when I first moved in the house, if your thermostat is more than two degrees from where it's trying to be, it's gonna work super hard and that's gonna make it tear up, break. So you need to, if you wanna get hot, hotter, it's not going to go from 70 to 80. You got to go from 70 to 72, then go back and go from 72 to 74 like that. Just two notches at a time. So last night, the temperature was dropping and it was cold in this house. So it, I looked at the thermostat. I had it set for 74, but it was actually 69 in the house because the temperature was dropping. And so I brought it down to 79 and then it was still not really working good it dropped down to like 65 because my the open floor plan there's also the um a draft near my uh my gas fire logs so one year i had put plastic over the fire logs because it's like an air coming in from somewhere the floors are cold because i got hardwood in the hallway so yeah so I just came, I just came to the bedroom, closed my door, <coughs> and the rest of I haven't coughed all day. The rest of the house is 68, but it's 73 in here because I have an electric heater and I have a buddy heater in the garage in case of emergencies. But I just have my electric heater. So like I said, the power kept going, flickering last night, on and off, on and off, on and off. They, they really wanted to shut the power grid down because they were saying it was too much on the power grid. That's what they said on the news, which I'm glad they didn't because a lot of people would probably died. They turned the power out in negative. They, they said if you are exposed for 20 minutes, then you you can uh, frostbite and set it in. So if, why would you turn the power off intentionally knowing we could die? You know what I'm saying? Within 20 minutes just to save the power grid. Because everybody don't have gas and propane, especially out if you're not in the city limits. So we don't have city, uh, we don't have city gas. I actually had to buy propane containers out here. So yeah, but I have some propane on standby. I have a, a Mr. Buddy and a big Mr. Buddy, but they have they say you gotta be ventilated. So I don't really like 
uh, using them, but if in case of emergencies, I will use them. But I didn't bring them out. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, the power didn't go out. It just went, uh, it was under a lot of stress. So the other room is six, <clears throat> the rest of the house is 60 something. <clears throat> The rest of the house is 60 something. <clears throat> and this room is 73. <coughs> oh, <no baby. coughs> yeah. So, yeah, I was worried about that last night. Could not sleep. Because I was like, I don't want to go to sleep and the power goes out. Because I, I, I don't have the propane hooked up. I would have to go outside and hook it up. Because if you have it hooked up, you can smell the propane in the house. And those films, I don't like that. But anyway, I had a... It's like a weighted uh, electric heating pad. It, um, it massages and it heats. So I had put it behind my back and I slept like a baby and usually when i have like a lot of layers on i sweat i was not sweating i mean i slept really good i woke up i was like okay i feel good you know but yeah it was nothing to worry about no problems today i guess the thermostat adjusted because it's not under that much strain so today we had no problems it was like a chill day relaxed day i watched the news i watched Fruit fortune i just been watching youtube my people on YouTube and and that's about it just just a chill relaxed day I know some people are doing better some people are doing worse and I'm doing me so with that being said y'all have a good night and thanks for watching my videos <laughs>